This weekend, NASA's Parker Solar Probe will soon travel closer to the sun than any spacecraft, bef spacecraft before it. Right now, Dr. Thomas Zerbukin, an associate administrator for the NASA Science Mission, joins us from the Kennedy Space Center to tell us all about the Parker Solar Probe. Dr. Zerbukin, how are you doing this morning? How are you doing this morning? Doing great. Good morning. Good morning to you. Now, this probe is hitching a now. ride on one of the world's largest rockets. How historic is this launch? How historic is this launch? It's really exciting for us. I know the rocket stands right behind me here on the Cape and it's ready to go. On top of it is a spacecraft that has been worked on for decades. It has been imagined 60 years ago and we had to develop a whole bunch of technologies that are now ready to be shot into space. Thermal protection technologies and instruments that even 60 years ago we could only dream of. So we're so excited about it. Absolutely. And speaking of that thermal Absolutely. protection, how, how thermal close will the Parker Solar Probe come to the sun? The way I think about it, you know, if you look at Earth, we're here at a certain distance and think of it like a football field. We're going to the four yard line. So we're going to 10 to 4 percent or 10 solar radii from the from the center of the sun. And so it's really, really close. That sounds pretty close. Now, how will that the solar probe now, survive solar that extreme heat and radiation, as it, heat and radiation as it travels next to the sun? So right ahead of the probe is this thermal protection shield, which is four and a half inches thick, really thin, a carbon shield that was invented for just that purpose. And that's the crucial piece there. It's also an autonomous spacecraft, so it makes sure it can correct itself, always points that shield into the sun so it protects everything behind it. That's how it will survive. Oh, awesome. And what, what does the Parker oh, awesome. Solar Probe what, what hope to discover during its travels? And scientists study solar activity anyway. So we are excited about solar activity because of the fact that it's part of our star. Uh, we learn from other stars that just like ours, they have atmospheres that are a lot hotter than the surface, which is totally counterintuitive. So it's just exciting science. What's really important about our star, though, is it also is the source of space weather. It affects us in a direct fashion, our space assets for communications, military, otherwise, and also even the power system. We need. We are affected by space weather and that's what we're learning to understand using the Parker Solar Probe. And just a personal question for me, will and the Perseid meter shower me, uh, present any challenges shower, this weekend? Uh, present any challenges this weekend? Every time we launch, we look at all challenges that are around, including this meteor shower. So we know what the likelihood is that it could be a challenge for us. And in this case, we assess that it's a very, very small likelihood over and above. Like launching is always a huge challenge. It's, it's always a risk. And so the, the extra risk from that is very, very small. But I encourage you to really look at nasa.gov slash Parker at NASA Sun on Twitter to learn more about this and many other issues. Well, thanks again for joining us today, Dr. Well, Zerbukin, and we are certainly going to be looking forward to that launch. Mm -hmm. All right, Michael, thank you so much. It's pretty incredible stuff NASA's doing. That's awesome. Well, this morning,